and this is the moment that the show begins for me. So how, uh, how are you feeling about that game? Not great. <laughs> Not great. Tam, can I go a little heavier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to I love see what's going to yeah. come. And it's yeah. a busy Let's news go. cycle. Yeah. I love you. Let's We're go. all excited about okay. this uh, this commentary. People have been t uh, DMing me, messaging me. What is Sid going to say tomorrow? People have not been DMing you. Yes, Are you they, serious? Uh, Sid, 100%. I'm sorry yes, for they your have. DMs. They have okay. because people want to hear what's about to happen. So, so let's, let's okay. do it. First off, I want to credit Jose Barrios. For those people who don't know who he is at home, he is the pitcher that the Blue Jays brought in. That gentleman watching the Twins celebrate after the game yesterday. He was pitching by, by all eyeball accounts in the park. He was throwing the best he'd thrown all season yesterday. The Jays took him out after three innings. I'll get to that in a second. This young man handled it with a level of class I would not have handled. I would have gotten an Uber, flown back to Toronto, and demanded a trade. Full stop. I'm not kidding. I, I admire the way he handled that. First off. Second, John Schneider, the manager of the Jays, is, is having a moment here on social media, all right? And, and not just social media. Um, but I am 100% convinced the decision to take out that pitcher at that time in that game was not his. He did not make that call. Uh, I think the players knew that. I think, I think Jose Barrios, the young man, knew that because he actually came up to him afterwards and was consoling him. There was some bizarre stuff going on in that so dugout. So making that call? Well, here's a good question. Okay. Analytics. For people at home who don't know what analytics are, analytics in a sports definition are when you deep dive, and I mean deep, deep, deep dive on numbers to tell you when you should leave players in a game, when you should take them out, what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses? Now, most pitchers in Major League Baseball, when you see them like a second and a third time in a given game, they become easier to hit in theory. Barrios, I'll say this again, by all accounts, me on my couch and people in Minnesota yesterday in Minneapolis, that's the best he's looked all year. Mm. And on top of that, he's pitching against his former team. He was ready for this. They took him out when he, was, when he hadn't given up a run because the analytics department, somebody in the analytics department decided that was the play. John Schneider is the last line of defense, okay? Mm -hmm. He had a chance there. This is why I think he should be gone. He had a chance to go, look, I know what the plan was to take Barrios out, but he's kind of pitching really well, so maybe we shouldn't. No, no, he was the bag man. He was the delivery guy. He was, he was doing what he was told. So I've lost all trust with John Schneider. All trust. Analytics in sports also is a thing that people do to justify their jobs who should be nowhere near a sports organization. Ross Atkins runs that entire analytics department. Decisions were made yesterday that were completely messed up and there was no audible. You know who wouldn't have done that? John Gibbons. Mm -hmm. You know who wouldn't have done that? Alex Anthopoulos. Cito Gaston didn't have analytics. He had Hall of Famers. He had a gut. Still the best manager I've ever seen with this team. He would not have done that yesterday. And that deflates a clubhouse. And that deflates a dugout. Now, I know we're going to get to the offense in a second. But Ross Atkins and his analytics department, that's a joke. That's a joke. That's reason one, Ross Atkins needs to leave as GM. Reason two, the offense. This pitching was good enough to win a World Series. Win. I want to weep at that thought. Win. That offense was the worst I've ever seen with this team on any semi-series squad. That's also Ross Atkins. He needs to go. So there's two people gone. Two people gone. Two. Bo Bichette and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. They are not serious leaders. They're not. They're immature. Put up some stats in the regular season sometimes. But at this time of year, I'm now seeing it three times. This time of year, they are selfish. They are not concentrating. And they are not the tip of any spear. Bo Bichette gets thrown out on the base pads doing selfish stuff. That stuff in game one, you're down by multiple runs. Stay at third. Stay at third. Bad at bats. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. thrown out at second yesterday. Bad at bats. Someone tell Vladdy that first base isn't a social club either. Everyone at first base, it's, it's, it's just this. Not, might want to focus. And to quote Joe Siddle last night after the game, next spring training, coming in shape. The thing no one wants to talk about in this city. 
Come in and shape. Do that. They are not serious leaders, and this audition's not one way anymore. They are also auditioning to be a Blue Jay long term. For a long time, that discussion was one way. I don't think it's one way. Finally, I had, you talked about DMs and, and, and social media last night. Uh -huh. I had multiple people reach out to me and said, if John Schneider and Atkins are still a part of this team, you're not going to see me at Rogers Center next season. Trust has been broken. At some point, common sense left the room with this organization. It can come back. It can come back. But common, common sense left. And, and there's a large section of the fan base that doesn't believe in what's going on here. I know some really important people in this company have been kind enough daily to join us on Breakfast Television. We have a very privileged platform here. I am a black and white person. I would have a field day here. I would go down to the dugout, take all the tablets. You know the tablets that they all look at? I do. Put them over my right knee and snap each and every one of them. we got to take a different, different tact here. You can get it back, but that was a bad moment yesterday. And Jay fans need trust returned to the organization. Season tickets, by the way, available for 2024 now for the Toronto Blue Jays. Sid Sixero, do you feel released? Do you feel any? Because uh, look, the truth has got to be spoken. And a lot of people are feeling the frustration. And when you have this kind of platform to, to speak it out loud, does it do anything for yeah. No. <laughs> One of the J's to win. <laughs> so did I. 703. Thank you. Thank you.